This is Macabre by John Lithgow. This is only a reading, so you won't see the illustrations, but illustrated by C.F. Payne. Let's start. One Sunday in springtime, Macabre arose from his Central Park nest. He straightened his whiskers and polished his nose and set off for the place he loved. He scampered past pigeons and geese, past bat house and bench shell, and so past joggers and skaters and mounted police, to a palace on Fifth Avenue. For inside was a splendid collection of art a sight for a squirrel to treasure. A feast every week for his eyes and his heart which Micawber could savor at leisure. Through the windows he'd gaze at Van Dyke and Van Gogh appraise every Rembrandt and Titian. He would scrutinize Rubens peruse each result, inspect each Leitrec and Cassette and Miro. He would find a new favorite each time he would go and nobody charged him admission. But a stranger appeared this particular day as Micawber peered down through a skylight. She stood at the easel beneath a Monet that depicted a haystack at twilight. Micawber observed her for hours on end as she copied each texture and shade. He noted the stroke of each brush she'd expend she'd become his unwitting and unknowing friend by the time the day started to fade. So he hid in the box where paints were all stowed while she bicycled home unawares. Then he sneaked himself into her modest abode as she hauled her equipment upstairs. From the box after midnight the stowaway crept stretched his limbs and adjusted his eyes. And while his big willer contentedly slept he rifled through all her supplies. Micawber's dull life with its tedious tools all at once seemed a hundred times duller. As he straddled a pallet and squeezed out some oils and discovered the wonders of color. He daubed at a canvas with cadmium green employing his tail as a brush. Then magenta vermilion ultramarine lazarin crimson and bright tangerine. Such a radiant rainbow he never had seen so splashy and lavish lush. By morning Micawber was finally done and so proud that he practically fainted he'd been looking at paintings from day number one but never as painting he'd painted. As the sunshine poured in he was ready to go leaving everything just as he'd found it. Through the transom he scrambled his canvas and toe rolled up with a shoelace tied round it. A truck trundled by as Micawber all eat on the side it said Park Sanitation. He bounded aboard it ignoring the grit and completed his peregrination. He returned 30 times by the following fall and the paintings poured forth like a geyser. He fastened them all to his living room all and the woman was never the wiser. So if some July you should pass by a verity in Central Park Dale. Look around for a squirrel with a gleam in his eyes. And some paint on the tip of his tail. And if you should visit the old carousel look up at the uppermost part. Inside although nobody ever could tell. A talented squirrel continues to dwell. If you try you can picture it clear as a bell.